With the rumor that Xbox is going to publish games on PlayStation and Nintendo, some of their biggest titles like Starfield and Indiana Jones, the upcoming game from Bethesda, a lot of people are panicking. They are feeling like they've been betrayed by Xbox. There's been a call for Xbox gamers to just sell their consoles, which is kind of crazy. Xbox era and Tom Warren at The Verge, like they have multiple sources that have been reporting that Microsoft is planning to launch their games on third party platforms. There was another resource that I wanted to look at, which gaming is currently Microsoft's like third largest business. It's making them more money, I think, right now than Windows itself. So at that point, I think they're trying to maximize their income, to be honest, because yeah, people are calling it the second worst moment of Xbox history. I'm super just like not understanding why the conversation is like going so crazy, which honestly, it seems like it's for clicks. For me, I, I think it's ridiculous at this point in time that the rumors of Starfield coming to PlayStation a year after release or Indiana Jones going to multiple platforms. Um, I think the fact that people are getting upset with this just because it's a rumor is pretty ridiculous because it's coming out that this is something that Microsoft is in, in talks about, which I mean, it's a giant company. Like, of course, they're going to be in talks about a lot of strategies, a lot of things. And people who are in the know are talking to people who create content around Xbox and there's a lot of discourse right now on Twitter and in the podcasting community that the world is ending. This is the worst part about it, you guys. Xbox is in talks right now, talks about the fact that they may bring Starfield and the Indiana Jones game to PlayStation and Nintendo. And people are taking to Twitter to show that they are severely upset. Because the thing is, not only is it PlayStation fans who normally um, like to dig on Xbox just because they don't get to play the games on PlayStation, which a lot of those people seem pretty happy that they have a chance to play the, their games over there. Um, but it's a lot of people who are like some of the biggest Xbox fans who are currently on YouTube, on Twitter, just digging in and just saying that this is the worst thing that can happen. It degrades the Xbox brand that they feel like they were lied to, that there's no reason for them to own an Xbox. It's like, if you don't want to own an Xbox, you don't have to own an Xbox. Everyone does not have to own an Android phone or an iPhone. Like it's just a piece of technology that you play games on. And honestly, we haven't even heard an official announcement from Microsoft as to what the actual plan is yet. So to start panicking or to start a discourse over how terrible the communication on this has been, which, okay, that might be fair. That the fact that these rumors are getting out and Xbox hasn't said anything, fine. But if you are a true Xbox fan, then maybe we should wait and see as to what they have up their sleeves. Because I feel that through having Minecraft on every single available platform, they've released Ori on Nintendo Switch. Um, they also have data now from like the ABK acquisition and from Bethesda as to how much these games already sell on other platforms. Why not sell the games wherever they can? Because to me, it doesn't make a difference. I'm perfectly fine with owning an Xbox. Will I ever buy another Xbox again? Probably. I would probably buy the most recent version of an Xbox or honestly, what I would like to see is I feel like there might be some kind of handheld device in the future that could replace like an Xbox that can be docked and also taken with you. Who knows what it looks like? We're still years out from the next generation. And I feel that it's also at a point where there's still a lot of use from an Xbox. Like you still get to play Xbox games first and most accessibly through Game Pass on an Xbox device or through a PC, which is still an Xbox device. So I have no, like, I, I don't get why people are panicking or why they don't see this coming because Microsoft already has released other games on other platforms. They are, uh, they are now like the, they're like the third largest publisher in the world. They're probably one of the biggest now with buying Activision. I'm not even sure on that one, but their monthly active users in their ecosystem is just as big as PlayStation. It's just as big as Steam and it's just as big as Nintendo. Each platform has around 120 million people on it. It's not like they're completely irrelevant, but until we actually figure out what their game plan is, I do feel like it's not time to panic. And from a business standpoint, I can understand why they would be moving in this direction because there's literally 120 million PlayStation users and there's 120 million Nintendo users between the PlayStation ecosystem and the Switch ecosystem as a major publisher of games that a lot of people want to play like I could definitely see pressure from the higher ups to bring some of those games over to these other platforms it could be if it could mean millions of other sales I do feel that ideally this shouldn't happen unless Xbox is finding a way to bring Game Pass onto those platforms and making the games also available through Game Pass as an alternative in order to expand their subscription service. But I know, and I do feel from 
what has been said in the past from these company from Microsoft and the the higher ups at Microsoft that that originally was the plan is they they thought that they would be able to use their leverage to make a deal to bring Game Pass onto these platforms and make it available wherever they wanted to. If we're an Xbox customer, the thing I want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. But they hit a huge roadblock with the iOS store where Apple wouldn't allow them to do what they wanted to do on the Apple store. Um, and also like Nintendo and well, I'd say more so PlayStation, but also Nintendo, they're not playing nice. Um, but none of these, they're all big companies. At the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. Um, but I do feel like it's a silly argument to make off the back of a rumor that all of a sudden our Xboxes are completely useless just because Microsoft is going to release Starfield on the PlayStation a year after it came out on Xbox. And it's not even set in stone. And there's also other factors for games like Indiana Jones and other games in the pipeline that it has been told to us before that this is on a case by case basis. So we'll see where it goes. I, for one, am in the camp of wait and see. Um, I don't think there's a reason to sit here and push a bunch of discourse about Xbox just completely betraying its customers or that there is no reason to buy an Xbox because people who want to see Xbox fail, that is the narrative that they push. As someone who is a fan of Xbox and what Microsoft is doing right now with the brand and making gaming more accessible and bringing us more amazing games than they ever have in like the last 20 years, I don't think now is the time to just mistrust their business decision. And it'll be exciting to see what this rumor actually is. And if they are just completely screwing everyone over, then the market is going to react to it accordingly. And if they make a bunch of money doing it, I mean, maybe maybe they've just become evil. Maybe they're the new Bobby Kotick. Uh, maybe they're just gonna take, to take after Activision in the gaming space a little bit more because it's worked so well for them for so long. The One of the biggest things Xbox has had difficulty with is their identity and why they should buy an Xbox and also have been criticized for their marketing and their communication with their consumers, which is completely fair. Uh, there's a lot of gamers out there since like 2013 or the last cycle of consoles between like the 360 and the one generation that felt like they were burned by Microsoft and never wanted to go back and uh, go back to a Microsoft console ever again, which there's a lot of people who like purchased PlayStation 4s and haven't looked back. Um, there's people that own both consoles, but since like 2016, 2017, Microsoft's done a lot to turn around their business and start to build more exclusives. But the fact of the matter is that they have gone from like having like four or five individual studios in 2013 going into the Xbox One generation. Um, now with their acquisition of Bethesda and their acquisition of Activision Blizzard King, they have 30 something studios at this point in time. And I think it's narrow sighted to think that every single one of those studios that's used to creating games for all these other, for all these other platforms, I think it's really narrow-minded to think that there's no way that Microsoft is going to continue to keep some of these games on these other platforms, or especially a platform like Bethesda, or a, especially a publisher like Bethesda, in acquiring them and letting, their, letting them do their own thing. I don't think it's out of the question that eventually Starfield's going to go to the other platforms. But hearing this news, hearing this rumor that these big exclusives that people have been waiting out for um, are going to possibly be showing up on a rival console, or another platform makes a lot of people feel like their investment has been squandered or that they can't trust Microsoft to communicate with them clearly. Um, I really don't feel like as a gamer that I've been misled or lied to. And I might be a little bit different because I'm not a Xbox console centric gamer. Like my Xbox is right here. I currently have a ping pong ball launcher sitting on top of it because I'm not gaming on it. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Netflix on it, but I've also recently played Forza and Starfield and Halo in the last couple months pretty frequently on it when I want to sit in the chair and play games. But most of my gaming these days is through the PC on Game Pass and through Steam uh, and Epic Games. Those are like the main places that I play my games is on the PC. Let me know what you think down below. Is this a reason to panic? Are you about to sell your Xbox? Like the video and let me know how you feel. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this. We'll catch you in the next one. Or on Twitch. I'm live on Twitch right now recording this. Cha-ching!